So, it is July 11th, 2008, and me and my buddy Martin are sitting here at AT&T in good old Richmond, Virginia. It is, uh, 4.31, and, uh, we got here about 3.10, so we're under the four-hour mark, which is good. I don't, do you call this time? Morning? 3.34? I don't know, I'm never up at this time, but, um, so anyway, we're here in this line of shoes. And we are expecting these crazy, crazy lines to be here when we got here. And uh, it wasn't. Nothing but a pile of shoes here, and uh, you'll see what I mean by that in a second. So, let's talk a little bit about yesterday. Um, my boy Benny and I were trying to strategize about how to you know, go about getting an iPhone. And, uh, and so we were talking about the time, and three. Three o'clock was like the magic number. And then uh, something came up and Benny was like, dude, I think we should get there at 12. And I thought he was joking and so we kind of dismissed it. So we ended up deciding on 3.30. So driving here, half asleep, half awake, get to 7-Eleven, get some caffeine. And, um, and I'm, I'm getting in the car, I'm about to come around the corner here at AT&T. And a voice in the back of my mind is uh, Benny going, dude, we should have gotten here at 12, man, because the line is around the building, and I'm not going to get an iPhone because of you, because you're old and you wanted to sleep. But you know what? That's not the case. We got here, and there's no one here. We were like two of six shoes. Weird. It's kind of laid back, and even though it'd be cool to have some hype, big lines, that sort of thing, I'm still getting a white iPhone. All you people around like, can I get a white iPhone? Sorry. Can just have the black one and be like, well, I might as well go for it because I probably won't get one in the next year anytime soon. So I'll have a white one. You'll see me walk out of those doors shortly with a white iPhone. So, anyway, we're going to have an iPhone tomorrow. Today. Tom no, yeah, today. Today. This morning. As you can see, my uh, trunk is pretty dark. If, uh, if I had an iPhone and had that software as a flashlight, I'd be able to see. I mean, look at this little crappy Sprint phone. No light. So, anyway. Um, I'm rethinking the whole shoe strategy, um, cause, dude, someone's calling me. Dude, Jason, you're like the last person that's gonna be calling me on a non-iPhone, dude. What's up? Alright, dude, I, because <clears throat> of my joint disorder, I need my shoes, so. It's the only pair of golf shoes here. That those golf shoes represent the old man. The old man. What to do while you wait for in your new iPhone 3G? That is the question. You could ride a skateboard, dance, wait in line for a new mattress, sleep. Take off your shoes so they wait in line for you. The possibilities are endless. with my regular tennis shoes instead of the golf shoes. Teddy bears? Pro probably better, you know, who wants to move a teddy bear? Some other pair of shoes, some socks, an anklet, but a teddy bear. More and more people are coming. There's an old lady coming up. She's like 45, 50. Oh, sorry, wait, no, Scott, Stephanie, that's y'all's age. Not old, just older. Dude, I'm so not the oldest person here. Sweet. So, um, we're here waiting for the iPhone, and I was, I was actually thinking, Dude, what if something happened to me while I'm waiting in line for the iPhone? What I mean, what if I trip? What if I, you know, my butt goes to sleep for sitting on the concrete and I have some weird joint thing going on? 
I wonder if I can get some type of compensation that I can kind of send to Apple. I mean, come on. So, dude, look how lucky we are. We're here at Allen, 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 and Allen, what is it, four Allens? It's a lot of freaking Allens. But with all those Allens, man, I think they can come up with something. At least one Allen, hook me up. talking to my friend Brian uh, he's in San Diego right now um, so out of all my friends Brian's the coolest like guy ever because he's in line in San Diego um, so that's pretty pretty cool so Jason if you see this you're a loser so as you can see it's daylight now current Eastern time is 603 and more people are here now Woo. We heard uh, from our friend over there, the, the antagonist of the, the characters, he said that he heard a rumor that one store only had five, five, five bones. bones. Dude, that was... He's seven, I'm eight. Five bones. Wish us luck. We're going. We're going to go get the iPhone. Try. Try. So, uh, you know, congratulations on getting your iPhone. See you, man. Yeah, yeah, we got the iPhone. It's white. <laughs> yeah, we got it. So, uh, Benny, I got a question, man. What's up? Two questions. Like, uh, we got an iPhone, but the real question is, do you have an iPhone? Then, right, next question is, what does one do after waiting since 3 o'clock and succeeding in getting an iPhone? fulfilled their stomach like we fulfilled our hearts. Panera bread. <laughs> That's where iPhone people eat. Those